really effectively captivate my audience. So I was like, Kalila, come on, Kalila, speak up, Kalila, you can say your story. And I'm sitting there like, no, I can't, I can't. There's no Muslims in here. I'm wearing the niqab. They're going to think, oh my God, it speaks, you know, <laughs> but I did it. And I put my hand up and she chose me and I spoke and I shared my story. And little did I know that the curator of TEDx and a producer from, yeah, it speaks, you know, <laughs> That's what they think. And the producer from Hollywood were in that coaching call and they contacted me afterwards and they said, we would love for you to come on TEDx. What would be your big idea? And I said, fighting cultural misconceptions against Muslims. And that's what I got to do. I got to do that talk on TEDx and it started with me being brave enough to speak up in a coaching call. So utilize your opportunities. If you're in a room and you know you get that feeling where you have something to say on the tip of your tongue, if you're like me in the past, I've definitely left many places thinking if only I knew I wanted to say it and you kind of bang your foot on the floor in regret. Have you ever had that before? Has any of you ever had that before? Just where you know you've left a room and you had something you could have contributed, but you were just too scared to speak up. Yes, everyone's saying yes, 100%. Don't do that. It's time to stop doing that. It's time to stop underestimating yourself and jump into that risk zone by making sure that you are loud and you are heard because you never know what opportunities are lying waiting for you if you just take it. And this is a big fear. Yasmin says, I feel like I might say something wrong. It's incredible that you say that because honestly, 99% of what we hear is just someone's opinion, unless it's a fact, it's just someone's opinion and you are entitled to your opinion and you cannot get your opinion wrong. Your expertise, you cannot get it wrong. It's just about how you deliver it. I want to ask you a question. If I said to you, who is the greatest boxer in the world? Who would you say? Who is the greatest boxer in the world? If you can type it in, who would you say would be the greatest boxer in the world? Just whoever, the first person that comes to your head, who is the greatest boxer in the world? Of all time, not at the moment, of all time. Okay, here we go. Muhammad Ali. This is the answer that the majority of people even if you've never seen boxing in your life, even if you don't even know the name of any boxers, the first person, the person that comes to your head when you say, who is the greatest boxer in the world is Muhammad Ali. Why? Because he told us, he said, I'm the greatest boxer in the world, right? That was enough. That was enough for us to now say the greatest boxer in the world is Muhammad Ali with confidence. I don't even know how many games he won. Did he win the most games? I have no idea. Not an avid boxing fan, but I would say Muhammad Ali. And it's because he told us, which is why your belief in you is what will help others to believe in you. If I came in here today and I said, speaking up is really important. I think you might make it if you speak. Who's going to believe me? No, speaking and using your voice is a powerful tool. Do you see the difference? You believe it because I believe it. You believe it because I believe it. So when you believe in you, other people believe in you. And that is so, so, so important. Alhamdulillah. So I'm going to share with you now five key ways to master your voice. And I've made them into V-O-I-C-E to make it easy because I love things like that where it's easy to remember. Okay. So these are the five ways to really master your voice. And B is for values. Whenever you speak, whether it's on a stage in front of one million or it's in a coaching call or it's on a sales call or it's on your social media live, wherever you speak, stick to your values. Take a minute to write them down. What is important to you? What do you believe in? What are your values? Because when you show up true to your values, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens doors for you that you can never imagine and it gets to feel good. If I'd have sacrificed my values on the journey to where I've got to today, it wouldn't feel as amazing as it does now that I can say I did it without sacrificing my values. And people will magnetize towards you who have the same values and you wanna attract people to work with who have the same values. It's a much nicer experience. So always stay true to your values. Number two is O for original. We spend so long doubting ourselves, thinking we're gonna say the wrong thing. Um, someone said in here before that you're afraid that you're going to upset someone. 
if you be original and unapologetically you and speak your opinions and share what is on your mind as yourself, then it doesn't matter. You can't please everybody, but you're going to please the people who respect you for you. Your ideal clients are the ones who want to work with you. We live in a world full of sheep. Everyone's doing the same thing. The thing that makes you stand up is when you speak up as yourself unapologetically. So be original, be yourself. Don't be afraid to fit in. Number three is I for intonation. If I speak in a really monotonous, robotic voice, you're not going to listen. You're going to fall asleep. Intonation is so, so important. That's where you're working on your pitch. That's why it's so important if you're going to start speaking, especially if you're doing things like keynotes or panels or interviews that you work with a voice coach to make sure that your delivery, your intonation is key because it makes such a big difference when your voice is engaging. When you use things like intonation in your voice, it becomes so much more interesting to listen to and then people pay attention. Number four is C for connection. Connection, connection, connection. As a speaker, which you are, if you're in business, you're a speaker. Again, like I said, whether it's you're speaking on a sales call, in a coaching call, on your social media or a stage, you're a speaker because you need to use your voice. Alhamdulillah. So connection is key. When you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. I'm sure you've heard that where you really need to niche down and know your industry and know your ideal client. But knowing your audience is crucial. And as a speaker, you have two types of audiences. You have your general audience and you have your specific audience. And knowing your specific audience, you need to know things like their demographic, their psychographic, what makes them excited, what they have come to your event to listen to. So that when you speak, you're speaking directly to them and you're able to make deep connections. And that links in with you being yourself as well, because you're able to make such deeper connections with the right people. When you're yourself, we can sense fakeness. We wanna see you as you. And the last one, is E for energy, E for energy, delivery. One of the greatest ways to have good delivery and good energy as a speaker is to stand up, open up your shoulders. Often we hunch ourselves and we apologize for the amazing people that we are and we kind of shy away, but no, own who you are, stand up straight, take a deep breath. Because when you take a deep breath, it opens up your lungs, it opens up your diaphragm, it allows you to actually project your voice in a bigger way, and it allows your message to be reached in an even bigger way. So standing up and breathing and owning your light and being the giant that you were born to be instead of hiding away in the shadows makes such a difference in your delivery and the energy that you get to give across. So stand tall, my beautiful sister. Stand tall and own unapologetically the skills that Allah gave you the amazing talents that you've got to share with the world. So we have V for values, O for original you, I for intonation, C for connection, and E for energy to really mastering your voice. I have to warn you, once you start speaking, it's pretty addictive. So my client, Amina, she's one of the presenters on Islam channel, Mashallah Mubarak. She started with me and she said, Khalila, I just want to get better to speak on interviews and in my coaching programs. I just want to get better at being able to engage and captivate my audience. By the end of stage school, which is my course that I run for Muslim women, it's an accountability group to push you out there, bigger, better, harder, unapologetically you. And by the time she'd finished stage school, she said to me, I'm ready. I wanted to be a speaker like you. I want to get on the stages. And she, Alahama Barak, now is running one of the biggest speaking engagement events in her niche in the UK. She's doing phenomenal things, Allahumma Barak, because she stepped into her confidence. Amazing, right? And that's my favorite thing about what I get to do, seeing you thrive and grow and step into who you are and know that speaking up is not about you. Speaking up is about allowing you to be able to share the gift that Allah gave you, the experiences that you've been in, being able to share it with the people who need to hear you, who can really, really benefit, alhamdulillah. So I'm going to actually gift you today. I'm going to put it in the chat. I'm going to gift you my free PDF, how to be a powerhouse speaker. And it's got some key tips in there on how to be a powerhouse speaker going through my power of you, power of connection, power of delivery, power of action. And if you're interested to work further with me, you can scroll down to the bottom and there's a wait list 
that you can join up to to take you into the next round of stage school which i am opening up in february and if you get onto that early bird waitlist you'll get all the information up to date with when i'm opening it and the special offers that are there for my early birds because i am so passionate to get more muslim women speaking up i find that in countries like america they really know the importance of speaking and getting a speaking coach but we're still a little bit behind in the uk and it's so fundamental that you get up there and you make a big impact as you can see today i didn't even use any slides I did not use any slides and I did that purposefully to show you how powerful your voice is, how you can engage with things like stories and being unapologetically yourself because you don't need any other things. Those are just extras. The most important person in your business, center stage is you. It's you, Alhamdulillah. So I would absolutely love for you to download the PDF, send me a message, tag me. I'm not really a Facebook user. I do use it, but it's not my favorite playground. I'm on Instagram at Power of Voice Academy. Tag me when you do anything speaking, any reels, anything, tag me because it's my happy place. You know, everyone has something that makes them happy. Seeing my Muslim sister speaking, that's my happy place. So give me a tag so I can come and follow you and see what you're doing. Send me a message. I'd love to conversate with you. And it's just been amazing being in here. Again, like I said, may Allah bless you. May Allah allow you to get all your dreams and more. It's never too late. You can do it. You've got it in you. Keep speaking. Keep inspiring. Jazakallah khair. I don't know if you want any questions or anything like that, Saliha. I'm happy to take any if, if needs be. Could I ask you something, Khalila? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Nikita. How are you? Yeah. I So, you know, my online journey is very new and I'm a very shy person. I don't know. We connected a few times. I don't know if you remember. I was really yeah. in my shell. This was January this year. And you inspired me so much. Aww. You know? And alhamdulillah, so January, I wasn't doing, you know, like just doing no talking at all, just posts and hiding behind uh, things. Um, I have a podcast now. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah, oh, I a masterclass day before yesterday. So I was so excited that you were coming on today. And I said, I must come and tell you personally, if I can. O obviously, Alhamdulillah, I got the opportunity to tell you that you really inspired me so much, you know? Oh, my beautiful. And I can see the impact that it's making just because I gave myself the permission to do that, you know? Yes. Another. You gave yourself permission. Congratulations everyone let's celebrate nikita that's amazing yeah. and i guarantee you there are so many people listening to that podcast that you are benefiting in ways that you don't even realize that needed to hear what you have to say so yeah. jazakallah khair for doing that and for yeah. allowing yourself to do that and, and i'm so grateful for you to share that with me jazakallah khair. and you were one of them there were a few people who were encouraging and you were one of the people who really motivated me alhamdulillah jazakallah khair. that means so much to me jazakallah khair. amazing So if there are any other questions, otherwise, I think we're going to call it an end. Sister, I'm listening to you for the first time. Honestly, I'm really inspired. I have to go and Google you a bit and see your previous videos and stuff like that. Jazakallah <laughs> Thank you so much. Amazing. Okay, uh, any other questions over here? Uh, uh, I think I'm echoing with uh, both the things on. Okay, sister, I think that's all. Maybe you can come, inshallah, some other time in the group. Absolutely, it would be an honor. Honestly, like I said, Muslim entrepreneurs, I'm here for it. Networking is so important. So yeah, jazakallah khair. Yeah, and uh, let us see how can uh, we go ahead. Uh, maybe we can plan some networking for all the Muslim female entrepreneurs in London. That would be great. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. We'll yes. speak. We'll speak. Uh, so, Jazakallah. Thank you, sisters, for joining. Yeah. Jazakallah for having me. Salam alaikum. Have a great Friday. Almost. It's Friday, right? I'm losing my days. Friday. Yes, Have Friday. A <laughs> Have a great Friday. Salam alaikum. Oh, bye. Hello,